Hey there. Yesterday, I actually did my first ever real estate weekly roundup. I did it for my community that I live in over here at Cadence and Gateway. Um, I've always done a lot of work in the Gilbert area. So a lot of times when I'm looking at the real estate market, I'm looking at Gilbert, right? I think Gilbert is a good representation of the East Valley when you have Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, Queen Creek all right next to each other. So the first thing I wanna do is just tell you that this is the first Gilbert, Arizona weekly real estate roundup that I'm gonna do. My name is David Dion. I am a real estate agent at HomeSmart. I also run the Valley Solutions real estate team one of the more successful teams in real estate and in our market here in Arizona. So today is April 27th, it's 10 a.m. Also brought to you by MLS4Gilbert.com. If you are interested in buying or selling a home in Gilbert, this is the place you should go. Easy click of the button, you can see Gilbert Homes with Pools, just listed homes, Horse properties, golf course properties, waterfront homes, active adult, fixer uppers, condos, homes under 500K, homes 500 to a million, over a million. Map of Gilbert right there. Here's the median list price for Gilbert. And this is what we're going to be talking about right here. We're going to be breaking down all the stats going on in Gilbert right now and nine featured communities and a little bit more information. So let's dive in to Gilbert, Arizona. Weekly real estate Roundup. This is our world premiere. This is the first time I've ever done this. And my plan is to do it every Monday, or I may do it every Thursday uh, when I'm going to do my community weekly roundup. So for today, first thing I notice is the median list price for Gilbert is $429,000. For anybody that's been watching Gilbert Real Estate, you will know that that is significantly lower than it has been. So let's come down here and just click on median list price. Here we are right here. Median list price was going up, going up, going up, made it all the way to $500,000. So there was a day when the median list price in Gilbert was $500,000. What that meant was if there were 300 homes on the market and you sorted them from lowest price to highest price, the middle home, the 150th home, had an asking price of $500,000. You'll see since the coronavirus crisis has happened, the median price has actually dropped all the way down to $429,450. So your initial reaction might be, the sky is falling. Well, that's not the case. What has happened is a significant number of lower priced homes have come on the market. So you can see it right here. Median price, the upper quartile at 760,000. Homes in the upper quartile, only nine of them have come on the market. But as you go down in price, more homes came on the market. So you can see right here that more smaller homes came on the market, which actually dragged down the median list price. Nothing to worry about right there because the next chart we're gonna look at is the price per square foot. In here, here we are, you know, in April 2017, we were $143 a square foot. We had a steady rise through 2018, through 2019. And then just before the Corona virus, you know, this is March 20th. This is when we were in it. It reached a peak of $188 a square foot. And you'll see it's dropped back down to $182 a square foot. But you will see the average median, uh, the average asking price per square foot has not dropped dramatically. It is not down here. And the truth is there is a lot of activity resulting in lots of contracts still. So this, you know, of course, we're going to see some fluctuation there, some volatility. But I do this every day and I don't expect that to get too much worse. Could we see 180? Could we see 178? Sure. After that though, as soon as this starts to, to, to fix itself, you know, there's still a lot of demand out there and there's probably going to be more demand after this is over than we've ever seen. So buyers, this is a good time to be out looking. Sellers, this is still a great time to sell. You may not get 20 offers on your house, but you'll get one or two quality ones. And the truth is that's all you need. 
average days on the market. This chart right here is actually contrary to what you might think, but average days on the market is calculated by analyzing all homes on the market. Well, we had a massive influx of new listings. Those new listings only had days on the market of zero days, one day, two days, three days. So it actually dragged the average days on the market down. Um, nothing to be too concerned with there, but you know, that is actually contrary to what most would think. Most people would probably think that average days on the market would have skyrocketed, but that is not the case, right? Let's go down here. Let's look at properties with a price decrease. Again, this is a percentage of all properties. So when you added a whole bunch of new inventory, what it did was it decreased the percentage of homes with price decreases. And you can see it's starting to come back up, but you'll see it's a little bit seasonal and we're actually below where we've been in the past, right? So properties, percent of properties with a price increase, again, it dropped. And that only had to do with uh, the number of homes that came on the market. Um, increased the number of available homes, which meant the percentage of homes with an increase would have dropped all by itself without changing anything. Relisted homes, this is pretty steady right there. Uh, again, a little decrease, but that has to do with new inventory. Inventory is one of the more telling charts. We might think that the market is dead. And when I click on inventory, you'll see right here that historically, so if we could go back in time here, we used to have eight, 900, 1,000 homes on the market in just Gilbert. Our market improved, inventory decreased, slight increase, and then it was steadily decreasing. And believe it or not, we made it as low as like 220 homes on the market. And I want you to think of that. 1,000 homes on the market, 220 homes on the market. These homes right here, we're getting multiple offers. Inventory has increased, but look at what it's increased to, just 437. So if you go backwards, no time over the last three years has inventory even been as low as it is right now. So, and look at, this is the seven day moving average. It has started to level off. Might we see a spike? Yeah but I'm telling you that our market is active and vibrant and this number is probably, in my opinion, gonna stay the same or begin its trend downward again. Will we see 220 again? We might, once this crisis is over and all the buyers that are sitting on the fence are out there again, it might take off like crazy. So let's go here, inventory market action index. Again, this is just, um, an index that's used to gauge the strength of the market. And, you know, it was increasing. We had a slight de actually we had a dramatic decrease. So we were as high as 92. We are down to like 55. And this is the 90 day moving average. So there's a trend developing, but you'll see trends have happened in the past and things continue to improve. So it's really all I have to say about the Gilbert real estate market. Uh, the Gilbert market is very indicative of a lot of areas in the Phoenix metro area. There are areas that are slowing down more than others. For example, high-end homes. I think I high-end homes have slowed down. I think the number of people willing to go out to spend one, two, three, four, five million dollars on a home is down right now. But again, there is a um, sign of this coming to an end at some point. Could be a month, could be three months. But so far, from personal experience, from running one of the largest real estate teams in the Valley and looking at the statistics, there is nothing to indicate a collapse. Um, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know what next week or next month's gonna bring, but I'm actually in contract to buy a home myself. I am moving forward as if Nothing happened. I don't know if I could have gotten a better deal on the house. And, you know, time will tell. So that's it. My name is David Dion with the Valley Solutions Real Estate Team here in Arizona. And if you have any questions, needs, need any help, buyers, sellers, give us a call. I can be reached at 480-332-5942. Again, 480-332-5942. Thanks. Have a great day and take care.